How to set up a Vise account for beginners, step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with creating your own Wise account to send and receive payments internationally. So let's get into it. Now, Wise is a great platform that allows you to actually convert currencies and send them or withdraw them to your own local bank accounts. It's really amazing to see how you can easily accept payments internationally with Wise. Plus, it's super easy to create and it doesn't matter the amount of money that you have, you still can create Wise for free. Now, Wise has two different sections. They have a personal and a platform version. Now, obviously, we're going to be creating an account on their personal version. And to get started, simply head on over to Advise and then click on Register. Now, keep in mind that if you take a look at some of the pricing of Wise, you only pay for what you use. And if you take a look at sending or receiving money, there's a very minute transactional fee that you're going to get. Registration is completely free. The sending fee for different currencies is going to vary but it's anywhere between 0.35% to around 0.7.8%. And if you spend with your card on Vise with withdrawing less than 200 pounds per month, you are going to be charged no fees and above that you're going to be charged 0.50 pounds per withdrawal, 1.75%. And holding money in your account is going to be free, but if you're investing with Vise, you have a 0.6% annual fee. Then with receiving money, you can get your account details in upwards of 19 currencies. And for receiving local payments, which are non-SWIFT, are absolutely free as well. And receiving USD wire payments are going to cost you $6.11. This is a fixed fee per payment. Then for receiving Canadian SWIFT payments, it's 10 Canadian dollars. And receiving SWIFT payments in the other 15 currencies are completely free on the end of WISE, but your correspondent bank might charge a fee that is not controlled by WISE and you will have to pay that. So let's get started with our registration on WISE. Simply click on register on the top right and then enter your email address. Once you enter your email address on WISE, you're going to click on next. And once you click on next, you're going to choose the type of account that you would like to open, whether it is going to be a personal account or to do business or freelance work internationally. Then you're going to choose your country of registration. Then you're going to complete your phone verification. So I'm just going to complete that. So once you have completed your phone verification, you will see for certain regions, Vice does not allow you to complete your verification on your desktop devices and you might have to download their app. That is just a safety or a precautionary method that has been created by Vice. And once you have completed that, you can go on ahead and log into your account. And that is all you have to do to create your account on Vise. I'm just going to log in with my Vise account that we just created, like so. And now I have been logged on to my Vise account. So this is how easy it is to create your own Vise account. It only takes a couple of seconds and that is all you have to do. Now, once you have created your account, there are a few things you need to get started with before you can start accepting or sending money. First off, on the top left panel, you're going to see this menu. In this menu, you have a home section, which is your basic summary. Then you have a card section. Now, this is a card that you can receive as a credit or a debit card, and you can use money from your WISE account directly with this card. Then you also have different recipients that you can add. So people that you're going to be receiving money from, you can add those over here. To add a recipient, simply click on add recipient. From there, you can choose the currency and you can find them on Vice or you can directly add them with their bank information. Let's say this is a random person and I can just add their bank details and their IBAN numbers to be able to receive payments from them. Then if you take a look at the payment section, you have scheduled transfers, direct debits, as well as payment requests. So you can request payments, send out money, and actually do set due dates for certain transactions to happen. This can be easy in managing international payrolls as well. And you will also see your account details. So what currency your account is going to be running in. 
Now, to be able to complete your USD details or any of your account details, you need to deposit this, deposit a basic fee to confirm that this is not a spam account, that is your real account. So to do this, you're going to click on the deposit and you can just click on get account details and simply add the money. You can add a payment method via a direct debit, a interact e-transfer, a domestic wire transfer, a bill payment, debit card, or credit card. And you can choose the currency you want to pay in as well. So let's say I want to pay in the same currency as I am being charged in like this so i can add that over here click on add payment method and i can add my payment method as well so it's really that easy to complete account details keep in mind that this is not a fee that you're being charged this is just a verification once you deposit this amount which is going to be around like five or ten dollars you can actually use this amount from your buys account or even withdraw it back into your bank account if you want to do that now, you also have auto conversions with Vise, which allow you to convert between your balances. So if you have multiple different accounts on Vise, such as a US dollar account, a Canadian dollar account, or a British pound account, you can convert currencies into your preferred method of payment. And with Vise, you can also earn by inviting other people. So you get 50 pounds when three friends send over 100 pounds in one go. And same currency transactions don't apply. They need to be international transactions. And a fee-free transfer for up to 500 pounds when they sign up with your link. So it's a really nice initiative where if you are promoting or if you are, you know, sharing this payment method with your friends, your family, or the people that you are working with, you can actually earn a commission to be able to further your Rise account. Now, the best part about using Vise is that you can go into your details on the top right and you're just going to enter your personal details over here. And this is really important for your identity verification that you need to complete for you to set up your Vise account. Then you can go on ahead and click on your settings and you can choose what type of notifications and your biometric data you want to save. Now, after that, if you're talking about money management on Vise, you can simply click on add money to add money into your Vise account. Now, once you have some money in your Vise account, you might want to have different ways to store your money. You can click on open on the top right and you can build different types of balances or jars. Jars can be money that you're setting aside and balances can be different currencies that you want to use. So let's say I want a Canadian dollar account. I can click on confirm over here. And now to get my account details for my Canadian balance, I can just go on ahead, click on get account details. Now I need to verify my identity, which I've already done, and then just deposit the initial amount for opening my account in a Canadian dollar. And I would be able to start managing money in Canadian dollars as well. Now, if you want to create a jar, like I have created this rainy day fund, all I have to do is click on open and then open a jar. Your jar can be in any particular currency that you want. Let's say this is going to be my vacation fund. And then I can choose the currency for this. Let's say I want this in a Canadian dollar. I can choose a different icon for this, like this one, and then click on confirm. Now, whenever I receive payments in Vise, instead of having to withdraw these and set them aside in different ways, I can directly transfer them in Vise into my jar to manage my money more easily. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to set up your own Vise account in a few simple, clear and easy steps. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries about Vise or any other platform, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.